What did you get for the slope here? Okay. If you put the negative in the other part of the fraction, what would it be? Okay. What's the ordered pair? Three, and then this is negative four. So it's the opposite of what you see for the ordered pair. Where did you go to graph this? Okay, and then you applied the slope. Would it be feasible to go down five and over two no. and be off the graph? So we're gonna use this version of the slope where we go up five and back two. How do you know when to change a negative fraction into a positive? How do I know when to change a negative fraction into a positive? Or how do I know when to move the negative in the slope? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the slope, every time you have a negative, are you listening? You see that? I want you to know you can put it in the top or the bottom. I didn't say anything over here because there was no negative at all. We didn't have to worry about it. The reason you have that option is, honestly, it could go out front. You could have 5 over 2 with the negative right in front of the fraction bar. We run into situations like this where moving down five and over two, we run out of graph. But if we move up five and back two, that's the same relationship. Yes, ma'am? Not right this minute, hang on. Up five, back two. Do we get a straight line? So let's recap. Where do you find the slope in each one of these? M. M? The one, by the, the, the one in front of the parentheses. The one next to X. Where do you find your X value? In the parentheses. Is it what you see or the opposite of what you see? It's the opposite of what you see. And the Y value is from the... Why? Wow.